Hello guys, welcome to Dr. Bhavidhi Bhatia YouTube channel and interestingly today we will understand the story of Rao. And now you will say what is the story? Story means story. How Rao and Ketu come into existence. Why they come into existence. So it was somehow few people say ke, like it is due to some confusion has created by Rahu and then Moon has given the complaint to Vishnu and then Vishnu did the needful with this Sudarshan Chakra and Rahu died and finally but it, he could not die properly then you know uh, Vishnu gave him the you can say put the uh, like Rahu and Ketu under the category of dusky smoky or you can say shadow planets the right word is shadow planets so basically Rahu is considered as shadow planet it is uh, like shadow of Saturn Ketu is sh shadow of Mars so now God has also played you know very technically and it has you know, made them shadow planets but when you all know it is you know quite practical like it is a world created by Brahma Vishnu and you know they are basically strategically they are involved into each and every part of the world and they know okay, like at the point where Amrit Mantan was going the Rahu is you know planning and is doing something then why they allowed because they are ultimate God and this is their world they have created it Definitely when you are going to create Elmira you will be knowing that every yes in this Elmira there is a box here this is a you know uh, like Kufar here you know all the positions in the world this is how same God knows Vishnu knows every incidence but deliberately they allowed and it is uh, many people come to me, they ask Rahu is not good and uh, you know, Ketu is not good, they are malign planets, they are not auspicious planets. No, it is not like that. Actually, they are electrifying planets. And honestly speaking, it was the entry of Rahu and Ketu to our solar system was very technical. It was strategic entry and Vishnu made it because Rahu increases the materialistic attraction in this world it encourages that and Ketu again you know it does not have eyes so Ketu only can peep it peep inside that is why Ketu is uh, basically Karak of Moksha but it is you know second part of Rahu and they always come at 180 degrees wherever in the horoscope in any, any horoscope of the world when you will see Rahu in front of Rahu always at 180 degree Ketu is there so this is the kind of relationship Rahu and Ketu share both are shadow planets as I told you and the story is technically this entry was given to them and Rahu is having so many good qualities and bad qualities also Rahu creates you know confusion it is smoke it gives illusion it will not make you understand people so easily it will not make you understand situation easily specifically in the periods of Rahu when moon comes you know it gives uh, really big tension really gives a big jolt to a person but that jolt is strategic jolt because people often say like moon always gives bad result in the face of Rahu because Rahu has complained against uh, sorry moon has complained against Rahu to Vishnu that is the reason but sometimes it happens we have to understand the nature of moon also moon is a basically a feminine planet it is, and it is very sensitive planet it is a planet of creativity and Rahu is you know it creates confusion it gives you illusion it gives you tension sometimes sometimes but when it is good it is responsible for so many things you will see on in our at in our earth you will see that is due to Rahu and Ketu only electricity electronics 
innovation software that all is you know given by you know rahu rahu is, uh, works as a catalyst rahu is catalyst rahu gives you uh, immediate fame rahu is, is you know sometimes rahu is with uh, sun exalted sun it gives you immediate fame rahu is with exalted venus it gives you immediate fame all the planetary aspects and rahu and ketu rahu is basically having a nature where like he enacts as the conjunctory planet he enters into the role of conjunctory planet and it gives the result of the house where it is presided or where it is located in your horoscope so rahu is not bad rahu is fame rahu is vibrant rahu is electronics rahu is catalyst rahu is fame it's you know black money it's smuggling it's drugs it's smoke so all these things are due to rahu and on the top of that rahu gives all materialistic attraction to this world otherwise any of the soul all the souls which are here on the earth they would not have any interest in this world that was the strategic reason of the vishnu that is why vishnu strategically gave a place to rahu and ketu and ketu have a different quality it provides moksha it is the only planet which allow you to see inside your in, in, in your in, inner depth so both are having different roles and both are very important planets for our horoscope and nobody can ignore them when you talk about the you, like drishti or your aspects fifth like uh, aspect is there seventh aspect is there ninth aspect is there from where rahu plays its roles it aspects it can you know directly see to those houses so guys story behind rahu i hope it is clear to you the role of rahu i hope it is clear to you the relationship of rahu with moon i made it clear and uh, what kind of objects you can see on the earth due to rahu now you have to take more and more knowledge through our videos and through blogs and through you know articles you can always see but this is how rahu plays an important role in our life and we cannot ignore it it gives sometimes immensely you know immense fame immense wealth immediately so don't only consider it bad please consider it good also and in terms of its remedies always be very much careful without knowing the position of the rahu don't do any remedy if you will do the remedy you will do the yagna if you will try you try to donate the control the rahu that means you will lose your attraction from the world so no you have to go through your soul have to go through all the experiences if you will go through the experiences you will have the experiences that means you will not left with any desire that is the strategical role of rahu which wants you to experience this world in very attractive way with so much attraction it gives to the entire earth and world so here is the story of rahu and uh, we have seen the almost all aspects we have touched now in my next video i'll try to touch the ketu and i'll try to explain you the ketu also Meanwhile guys thanks for watching me thank you very much take care